here and we'll put her over here so we don't have to see okay and like I said we'll keep this about yay what way it's there and I'll know we're live okay and we'll leave this Deborah Phillips <gasps> Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Thanks for having me, Chenzo. So for those that don't know, I've been getting people, they want me to tell like who and what you are first. Right, right. So Deborah Phillips is a business owner in town. Correct. I completely blindsided you and reach out to you. Yes. And yes, I say, Carla, that's okay. Carla. And I say, hi, will you be on my show? And you were absolutely <laughs> receptive, which was, a, I love it. They've never Going met to some me. stranger's house. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, I gave you a little bit of background, but then you were like 100% and here you are. Yep. So what I'd like to do today, excluding whatever you want to cover, is tell our wonderful audience about the fact that you own the the Pink, Pink Turtle, Turtle gift shop, yes. And that is located basically right next door to Flagler Fish Co. Correct. On the corner of Daytona and 2nd. Awesome. And the few times I've been in there, there's a gentleman there. Is that your... My husband. Husband. Okay. Husband, and I've met exactly. him a few times. There's a kitty in there. Uh, the yeah, mascot, actually, yes, pink, pink lives there. Her, okay, her, yeah, for the pink turtle, and it, kitten. It's a beautiful shop, and I guess I'll take let you take it from there. Now, how okay. long has it been? Well, I've been open for eight months now. I can't believe it. We opened up on July third. It okay. took us a month to get the place up and running. We actually bought the contents of the business, and the contents were antiques and thrift type items. Right, and so we decided after a while that's not the direction we wanted to go we wanted to bring in local artists gotcha so we currently have approximately 25 local artists okay. that have their um I'm, items on consignment at our shop and it's nice. been working out great well it's a beautiful shop thank you um i love what you guys did with the place because yes i i see i thought it was like kind of it was like a thrift store slash bookstore ish kind of like yeah records albums a little bit of everything yeah it was a little bit of everything um didn't really have a jive it. no it did not have a jive and now I it's just, jiving now it's jiving and it smells better yeah <laughs> There's something about old books a, and old albums. Yes. While they're cool, they don't smell so well. <laughs> um, I love the, the actual building. Ironically, is it's a beautiful pastelish, yes. bluish, yes, like yes. one of my favorite colors. That even so, where does the pink turtle name come from? It really because my favorite color is pink, and I love turtles. I've got this okay. really cool turtle tattoo on, my, on the back of my neck. Right. So I love turtles. Flagler Beach. When you think of Flagler Beach, you think of turtles as well. Right. And we decided just to combine the name. Okay. Yeah. So for those that are hunting for it that may have not seen it yet, once again, if you're looking at Fish Co., it's to the left. Correct. Correct. And it's this beautiful blue building. Right. It's a house. It is. A actually, very, yeah, it's it's actually, it is. It is a It's house. a five-room house. It was wow. built in 1924. Oh. We actually, I believe it was residential until the 80s, and then it became a commercial property. And it's been many different things. It's a typical Flagler business. Yes. House turned into a business. Exactly. Zone commercial. Exactly. It's cute as a button, though. It they really got the little is. porch area. Yep. My mom loves yep. it because when you walk in, it's got all, you got a lot of, you've done well with how you're placing things. I think so. So let's just talk real quickly too about if you, so if you are an artist in town. Right. What would be like the rhythm if someone wanted to. All, all you have to do is come into the shop and talk to me. I at least okay. have one to two artists coming in every week. Wow. I try to do things that are unique and different and whimsical. Right. And funky, beachy. And so if you do that type of art, you're more than welcome to come in. Okay. And show me what you have. Just get to know them. Exactly. How you're doing, exactly. What's if it? I like it, which most likely I'll like it, right. then we put put it on consignment. I pay out on the first of each month, and it's awesome. worked out really, really well. So you're getting already just a good amount of foot track of Absolutely. customer. I mean, um, Absolutely. artists. That's Absolutely. fantastic. I didn't realize we had so many artists in Flagler yes. Beach. I was actually purchasing things from off of Etsy because I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And then it's just the flow. People just started coming in, and I've met great friends, and it's well, been really, Carla, really fun. Oh, I mean, Carla's like the common denominator across this entire exactly, show. Exactly, exactly. Um, because she's been here longer than even me. And like I said, she's my she's my knowledge base. She's mm -hmm. my like Wikipedia for Flagler. So I mm -hmm. immediately, when I wanted... Now, I had met your husband a couple of times just being in there. Yep generically but you hadn't been in there yet so that's why i had to go to the source and gotcha. be like, who is this person person this? exactly exactly um, so no that's exciting and then just for those that, like you literally just walked in my house so right. like that um she had a few questions <laughs> for me i've i've been blessed i've lived here my whole life now i've been like nice. flagler based for like 10 ish years okay but i was originally i'm from i'm from boston but i moved here when i was like one or two gotcha. so i'm here but i grew up in palm coast okay and then moved flagler based here and the way that this show has kind of been evolving is like wonderful people like you. That, That's awesome. Um, now, let me ask you because I haven't even like, – were you freaked out at first? Was there a little like, what is this? I wasn't. No? I okay. wasn't because I've met – do you know Tom from Saver Flagler? 
Yes. Have you met Tom? I He's have. actually been telling me about people doing podcasts. Yeah. I just did a radio station interview a couple of weeks ago, so I, I wasn't. I okay. wanted to be kept apprised of new and cool things, and yeah. I figured if Carla gave your name, right. then I thought it was There's got to be, be some fine. validity. Yeah, it's got to yeah. be some. <laughs> exactly. So what was your background before the shop? If you before the shop. This is kind of part of the so show. So I was cool born and raised in Chicago, raised okay. my family there. Uh, I was a banker for 36 years, okay. and I, my husband and I and my son decided we just didn't want to be cold anymore. <laughs> right. So I've got one son that lives in northern Wisconsin, and I think he's... <laughs> he's ready. Yeah, he's ready to move he's down ready. here. But I just didn't want to be really. I just want didn't want to be cold anymore. Now, did you had had you have heard about Flagler Beach or this? Well, what, it's really wild. For years, we had looked over the whole state of Florida, okay, and all the big cities, and nothing felt like home. And I used to have a client down in Boca, okay. and he said you have to go to Flagler Beach. And I crossed the bridge, and I called my husband and said, "This is it. This is it. This is it." And now, it took us almost who... two years to find a house. Well, yeah, because because the, the, it, we don't have a lot of inventory, right. and I, you know, what I could afford. Right. So. Well, what? So that was what now? Like that you know, was we've owned the home for three. Last December was three so years. You're still fresh. I've you're been getting in fresh. In... Yeah, and I've only been here a year and a half. But you've come in hot. You got well, the house. You got the business. Exactly. God I bless. decided we were sitting around and we thought, oh my gosh, we're going to kayak and we're going to bike and we're going to go out to eat every day, and it gets to be really old, and I still have some energy left. Right. So, and I've always wanted to own a business. Whether it be, I was, we had looked at owning a bar, a laundromat, and then this gift shop just opened up, and perfect. it's been a perfect fit. That is a great story. So you're, like I said, I'm, I give you a lot of kudos, because not only did you come here no, and obviously nobody. F- fall in love with it, yeah. oh, and you didn't know anybody. I know. We knew zero people. And you didn't we even have like a friend, long, a cousin, an aunt, or something, huh? It, we knew nobody. Wow. And I was very, I personally, my husband not so much, I was very lonely. So this business right. has really become an outlet. For are you, and, and by all means, be candid, because it's part of the show. Are right. you seeing, are you feeling the love? I'm feeling the love now. Okay. Um, you weren't feeling the, it a couple I years ago. I wasn't feeling it a couple years ago. Now, when we first let's moved just talk in. about. I mean, our neighbors are all very nice and right. everything, but you know, people have jobs, people... And so now, my, were you, are you kind of the, are you the one that would be out maybe once in a while or do you go frequent any of the places you were out and you just weren't oh, feeling Oh yeah, the, I just wasn't feeling the love and you yeah. can't go, how many bars can you go to and yeah. drink and the, sometimes, you know. So you're in Flagler though. Yeah, we, I live on South, Fla- I live on, on the South side of Flagler okay. Beach. Okay, we're not supposed to be friends then. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> we were talking about that last night at a meeting. That's so funny. Um, so, isn't it a funny running joke? It, yeah, it is like, a funny. The north. Well, the and people the south. that don't live in Flagler don't. They just think like, get to Flagler, everything be great. Then you get the north side, south side. Then there's a whole new division. Well, and I'm from Chicago, Cubs and Sox, south Ooh, side, north side. Yep. So. <laughs> but no, it is fun. So, where's do you have like a local watering hole slash um, restaurant? You're you know, frequenting? I will tell you, my favorite restaurant is Net by George. Okay. And um, great I love guy. All, I love all the restaurants. Yep. Um, but my kind of go-to restaurant is Net by George. Now, I bet you what I'm my rhythm is is that. It seems to be whoever, wherever you're closest to. Yes. It's just it's kind walking of where you distance. Go. I know. So, for instance, I've got nothing but fantastic things to say about the um, Beachside Grill. Oh, yes, super, yes. Super, we, super we live, yeah, we, I can walk to the Beachside Grill. Now, yeah. a lot Jamie's of people, awesome. but see, you talk to a guy like me who's north side. Right. That's like going to Daytona. I know. So, I know, I know. When it comes so to the go, bike like, to the riding, the car, or... exactly. So, it's like <laughs> I'm the turtle dude because I'm like, I can walk. I know. Um, but it is kind of funny. So, now. Now, when you are out, are you, you don't seem to be kind of the person that is like, I'm Deborah, I own the pink turtle. No, no, You're no. You're pretty I'm chill. Not, yeah, That's pretty just chill. what I'm picking up. I'm not up. shy, but I'm really not. You're about, not like, hello, hello, no, I'm No, if pink somebody turtle. starts talking to me or if I'm sitting at the bar or something, I'll certainly talk. But Now, let's bleed into this because I'm sure you had said you wanted to talk about something else, which is right. probably, now you've been here, obviously, a, a short period of time, but you're starting to get a feel for Flagler. Yes. You're starting yes. to want to make some changes, make yes. some things. Let's yes. talk about what do you, well, what's, really, what's on your heart? What's on your what's agenda? On, what's on my heart and my agenda, agenda is getting more communication with our residents okay. and also opening up our businesses to get people to understand we're open. Don't okay. go to New Smyrna to hang out. Don't right. go to uh, DeLand to hang out for events. I would really like to get more events into town. And okay. so I've decided to run for city commissioner. That's amazing. You know, this is all news to me. This is all. Oh, just for okay. the odd. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I mean we this just sincerely. had an open forum the other day at the Flagler. Um, which Women's I'm guilty. Club. So don't get me wrong. No, like I'm, no. I'm involved in the community, but from a recreational standpoint, right. I'm right. hanging out. I'm hang, you know, but I had no clue, so this is actually rather even more organic for you. So exactly. you're running for city so commissioner. I'm running for city commissioner. There okay. are there's a, a two positions open. There's okay. four of us running: uh, Rick Bell Humor, myself, Jane Mealy, and a gentleman by the name of Paul Ike. Okay. And Bell Humor and Mealy are existing. They're incumbents. Okay. So, so what are some? I mean, I'm not a political kind of guy, right. but what would you say? 
from a layman's standpoint, you're saying you're trying to bring better communication from residents, residents to business owners. Absolutely. So what's really on my agenda, everybody was up in arms about the water the water rates increasing. A lot of people didn't know about it. I don't it. even know about this. Oh, they, if it last November, Have they take increased? a look at your water bill. They went up. Is that because, lot. you know, I'm like, I'm one of those knuckleheads. I don't really even look at it, that, but I, that's the it's problem. just an Nobody, added, is it an added it, number or no, is it an increased it's number? It's an increase in the fees uh-huh. because our water, our public work system is so antiquated that we need $5 million to um, bring it up to code. Okay. So we recently received a grant from St. John's Water Management, but it's only $500,000. Okay. And we've allowed this treatment plant to go without a lot of development in it. So we need money. So we've increased the water bill. And people weren't up in arms because they How said we did not How much did it go up? Is it a percent of what? Yeah, I think it went up 2.5%. So more than my paycheck. So it yeah everybody's bill went up so take a take a kind of do a comparison most people don't look at their water bill right they have it auto debited or they just now write how a would check. one how would one have found out about that well, if you're not well if you're not opening it if you're not opening the water bill supposedly and I I'm guilty of it as well there was a, a small blurb on the water bill that there was a commissioners meeting okay to talk about the increase in the water bill well how many people open their water bill. So I'm from a town that when you received your water bill, you also received a one-page flyer insert that said, you know, any new businesses to town, any um, housekeeping items, any events coming right. once a month. So people get more familiar with what's going on in town. And they would have, you probably would read the one-page flyer as opposed to your water bill. Interesting. So I'm a, I'm a proponent of having us do that. Now, I do know the times that I do open mine. Right. There is some kind of, there's always something in there, but I very rarely open very it. Very open it, yeah. I, I mean, literally, I just, and my wife knows, like, don't even put it on my desk because I just, I have it on my calendar to pay it. Right. I log on and whatever. It's usually singing or dancing around the same amount. <laughs> exactly. And I pay it. But... So this is really interesting. So this has been since November our since bill November, went up? Since November our bills went up. And a lot of the senior citizens, you know, went to City Fixed Hall incomes. and complained, fixed income. Yeah. They were, but our city has allowed it to get to this point. Now, does stuff like that stay, is that set now? Is that I, like? I think it's set for now. Okay. Um, you know, it obviously depends on your water usage, but right. the actual increase for now. For now. So would that so, be something that you're, you're pro or against? Is these some of these hot topics of what you exactly don't? You know, you're, we you're don't against. need to increase against. Okay, against or if we have to do. I mean, some, we, sometimes we have to do it, right. but just better communication to let people know that this is happening. Because, now, what are you? What are some of your bleeding back onto the like the business side? Because I right. think it's really unique to have you on the show because you are a newly acquired business in town. You're a right. new resident, correct? Which is tough to find too in this area, correct? What are some of the what are some of the wobegons? If you don't mind me asking, no, not at I, all. That's a, not at all. I'm um, now kind of fascinates eight me because I'm I'm like the good, bad, and ugly. I, right. What is some of the wobegons you're facing from a brick and mortar perspective of right. the of having the, the right. you know that you're? Well, the the positives are I we have a lot of tourists that come into town, mm-hmm. and I'm amazed how many people come back year after year after year, and it's been fun to meet these people and have them shop at our shop, but. I'm kind of disappointed with our gov- city government. I, nobody ever came to welcome me. Um, they don't really get involved in our businesses. For example, Carla had a Saturday event. We, we all did something different, like we had wine and cheese at our I shop. This, Everybody yeah. kind of did something different, but we did it on our own. Mm-hmm. Other cities have uh, people that help you with getting events up and running. Okay. So just to make it just make it more known that we're there. So we're actually doing putting a business plan together some of the businesses myself included to bring back something similar to the farmers market. Okay. It doesn't really exist anymore. No. I know. Something called a city market. Okay. Where it would actually be on Central right next to City Hall between okay. Raw and City Hall yep. and Gola and the museum similar to what they do on First Friday. Okay. So you could <clears throat> for $25 you could set up a booth if you sell jewelry. Right. You know, vegetables, fish, whatever, every Friday and Saturday. On the street. On the street. So we're putting a business plan together. We'll bring it in front of the commissioners and hopefully they'll get approved. And it'll be, t- we're hoping to only do $25. Is this a weekly thing? A weekly thing. Awesome. So we're hoping for $25, people can make money. Okay. Um, right, As well of course. as get their name out. Because a lot of times you pay over $100 a day just yeah. for a booth. And then the money we would receive would go into the business redevelopment fund in the city. I love it. Yeah. Are you being met with open arms so far? For I those think that... so. I think so. I Larry don't see Newsom, why it wouldn't. The city manager has asked us to put a business plan together okay. and then go in front of the commissioners and talk about it. So you'll present this, kind of show the game. Yes. Now, the, I would imagine some of the 
the the the obstacles that you're facing are like shutting the street down, which exactly, they do anyways exactly. on first Fridays. Li- yeah, exactly. Um, Liability. So um, whatever, they're all those stuff that I don't normally think about, but the commercialized uh, stuff. Exactly. So um, what we're hoping is by having that, people then will continue to shop and go around the square and hit all the shops, right. the cool shops that we have. Because we, we're kind of at a disadvantage. Like if you go to Amelia Island, you park, and then there's shops and restaurants, right. one long row. We're kind of at a disadvantage. So, But I will tell you, all of us business owners do tell each other every day, you know, Thanks for coming in, but Frankie Ellis is there. Yes. Goal is there. Carl is there. Tommy's yes. there. We're all tell each other about the shops. That's one thing. Have you? That's probably one of the pros you're seeing. Yeah, oh, absolutely. The, the business owners you're have feeling been the love in that aspect. Yes. Which I've always felt the love, yes. and that's just to, um, in parallel with what you're saying. So for the last like 15 ish years, I've been an online dude, Got it. interneter. I don't really have like a, but I've my livelihood has been contingent on word of mouth. Right. And people like Carla's and people that I've been able, even if it's living, lending a helping hand and there's not necessarily oh, a fiscal return right away. Of course. That's kind of how I've, of so course. Flagler, I'm in, I'm, I'm a, I, my, I would never be able to make a living probably in like Manhattan per right. se, because <laughs> right, everyone, right. your mother's an internetter, even yeah. though a lot of people are interneting here, yeah. but because we're such a small community. Um, and I'm glad you're at least seeing that yes. response, which yes. you can't, you can't really explain that to somebody that doesn't know, like we're so funky out here. We really are. That and that's what I love about it. We'll go eat at like, you know, we'll, we'll always keep it non-corpo as right. long, I hope as long as we can here. Right. But so. Yeah, I'm not looking to bring in all these, but we have a lot of empty shops, and yeah. we, you know, our landlords need to understand. You know, we need to make money as well. Don't charge people right. an astronomical amount of rent yeah. because we are a small business. We need to now. When you were here, you probably just got the end cusp of the um... like the recession, or no, 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 the uh, the market. The, oh. we, you were just probably seeing the I end of it. No, I was so bummed. You know, we that market used to be like I said, growing Hoppin', up here. Hoppin'. That was the the bee's knees. I know. It was a very it was a and like I said, it's been it's gone through its seasons. I know. But it was always a constant where on the weekends it was something That's where you went. my wife and I would go walk I used to walk around there as a kid. Like it was always a place to go congregate. Exactly. And you could commence you know, get some commerce going. And- um for the last hot minute now i don't know the exact but yeah. it's no it's like it's been at least well, a year god bless them the business owners they seem to have like formed on the other side of the bridge by right. um i don't know what it is the storage units have you seen all oh, that yeah, yeah, like, yeah. at Eagle's least Nest. they're doing it and it's like every day right and look at how much it's like they're doing great yeah. over there which it's called sam sue i'm real happy for them and you think about like why couldn't we get this going? i know but i guess I know. you know i don't there are some politics involved. I don't know the lady. Somebody so, owns that. that. I, don't, I don't know. Her. I don't know her either. So there's all these. So I wouldn't want to speculate. You know? Right. Yeah, so I don't mean either. Um, so something may be going on unbeknownst to me that I'm like. Exactly. So I don't want to, you know, exactly. resurrect some kind of but, issues. But it is weird that there's all that property. You know, I have this theory that like in the next five to ten years. I don't want it to happen this way, but like someone would just like buku bucks. Yeah. Is this gonna go? condominiums or hotel because i mean you, I you think about love, it you, pull, you like boot, that i would love a boutique hotel right there in the center right there because i used to travel on business all the time and what did i do at night i walked around yep and i spent money yep so it is weird though the town we're going through this little bit of a funk right now well that's my theory yeah. you got you pull in you got sun trust empty i know empty weird. oh my gosh the bank first America, thing you see I know. empty sun trust now bank of america's gone yep PNC's now pnc's leaving. gone yeah and I'm not like a financial dude or like understand the, the economy well enough to know what is that a sign of? I know, <laughs> you know I, I mean? know. Like, I will tell you, I was, I'm obviously a retired banker. And yeah, what does that used, mean to we you? Had, well, we had, we were, I used to work for Northern Trust Bank and it was more of a retail, it was not a retail bank. So we were not on every corner, but if we didn't make money and it didn't make sense, we pulled out. So my guess is that. So you did 30-ish years? 26. God bless. I was a banker for 36 years. What's your, I mean, you your opinion is going to be a rather strong opinion to yeah. me what's your opinion of when a, when these banks are now these are those are you're talking about those are re, big yeah, banks yeah those are big retail so banks so do you think so they're not they're not they're, necessarily they were not suff- making they're not okay. suffering they're just they, in Flagler Beach it just didn't make sense for it's them. not making sense it just didn't but it's not, not a sense. sign of like Bank of America no, is moving out of it. Okay. no no absolutely not and Bank of America space was huge right it on was A1A huge. so I always I mean, wondered I what was up what there the it was two stories yeah I don't know I was never in there I don't know the logic why they ever moved here um, because I don't have that history, but there must have been reason at one time. Yeah, 
So it's just unfortunate. If a bank's not making money, you know, in a certain city, they're going to they're going to pull out. Does that reflect that we're not making money as a community? Uh, maybe. Or we, maybe a little yeah. bit. Maybe a little bit. Or are we changing as consumers maybe? Yeah. We're not like using we're just banks. Not bank- I don't that's I think a lot of it. We're not using banks. I mean, think I mean, about I it am, years you know, ago. I, I, I mean, I'm obviously older than you, but I used to go to the bank and there were tellers, you know, right. rows of tellers. Right. Now you go to SunTrust and they just have a couple of tellers sitting right. there. Everything's automated. Everything's automated now. People don't really, unless they want that. I was one of the probably last of my era. I hated the online mobile deposit. Right. So I hated that. <laughs> right. And they hated when I walked in. <laughs> I know. I, I really know. did. They were like, oh, you could really. And then they wanted. Well, when this. the ATM started being able to yeah. before the mobile. You do it through the machine. And I hated the machine. Me too. Because I didn't trust it. I'm like, I'm going to put. <laughs> not that I had. I was I depositing millions of dollars. But no, now I'm like. I, I like know. won't even be. I'm like mobile deposit. Don't go. Oh, I know. But don't leave it the house. is interesting though because I guess I don't know what the the newer. I mean, the younger kids are doing now. Like, are they using banks? Are they? I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's a. I know it's they're a, not using checks. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Definitely, yeah, you got Venmo and but... PayPal's and all that. Yeah, but it I is interesting. But I think so far, what you like just getting to know you literally right now. Right. I think you got a wonderful demeanor. Thank you're tenacious. You, you got you. a heart. I mean, thank you. you you're not just. You're not just coming here to like make us a bazillion dollars and oh, peace gosh, out. Like no, you're here, you're no. here to stay. No, I want to be and, successful. I'm going to live out my life here and just in, enjoy the area and meet new people all the time. So when does this thing start getting hot and heavy for the the, the pickings and all that for the? Because I'm once again I'm like it's March uh, the voting. Yeah, March fifth. March fifth. Please mar- vote on March. We're 5th getting at there. City We're Hall. like there. I know. I, mean, what I is know. It? No, no, Everybody who's 21st. a registered voter would have received a ballot in the mail, so okay. you can um, drop early that vote. off early vote. Or you can show up at City Hall from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on March 5th. Awesome. And please vote. It's now, really what what are you vote. hoping that – is there anything that we can do to help? Because I don't know why a business owner would not be pro. You're going to call it a city market, which I think is yeah, a fantastic – Yeah, it's going to be called a city market. And actually, are you familiar across the street from the museum, Gola, the gallery yeah, of that local whole, art? Well, the lady and the dude own that whole – Yes, they hold that. Right, the exactly. The whole thing. Marge and oh, – Bob gosh. or something. I don't know. Anyway, but Ted, Marge. Marge and Ted. Marge, yeah, Marge and Ted. They've actually gotten approval from the city to build what they're calling a Flagler, Flagler, we're calling it the city market, Flagler Art Village. Really? Yeah, so they're going to be actually news. connecting, you know, Raw is a smoothie place, Corey yep. Raw, um, and they're just going to kind of connect all the buildings, put rooftops, and then they have kiosks out front as well, so people can sell their wares as well. All, every day, right all day, or I is think it a so? Way? I think that's going to be is every fantastic. day. Yeah, so we're starting to see some business development. Which that is super whole area about. is is like going. It's like it's going through a rebirth, right? Yes, because you got I hope so. Yes, Kokomo's. Yes, the, um, yeah, Kokomo's is gonna. I, what's the dude's got the, the business now? It's the natural spot or something behind Raw Juice. I don't know. I'm not familiar with behind it. Behind Raw. The natural food or something. I'm butchering this poor oh, guy's place. That's, there. Is there, oh, is that anymore? I don't think that's there anymore. Okay, we're next yeah. to Frankie Analysis. Oh, that's not there anymore. It used to be called Simply Fresh. Okay, yeah, Simply gone. Fresh. They're so gone. For, yeah, but so still, there's an empty building. Business. There's an empty building there. There's a building, empty building across from me. Cool Beans. Jody moved that's on A1A. Still, oh, so, empty? Yeah, that's still empty. So but Yeah, because they moved Joey next to Oceanside. Cool <sighs> That's yeah, she still moved empty. next to Oceanside, so no. I mean, I don't empty. mind asking because I don't know the exact. But I mean, are they just are they just gouging rent? Is that what's happening? I, you know, I think that's people's perspective. You know, perspective that they think that they're gouging. I don't know. I've got okay. a great la- landlord. I'm okay. Um, you just got to get the yeah. Right I don't want to like bash whoever there. it is, but I yeah, just don't know. I think that's what it is. People, just, you know, that's I think that's a perception here. Landlords it's a tough are, spot too. That cool beans. It is a tough spot, but if we could just get people to walk in that circle, yeah. Somebody supposedly looked at it not that long ago to open up like a craft beer bar. Mm. I'm like, that would be fun. We need some of those. I know. We don't have any craft. I mean, you can go get craft beer well, at the, different the, restaurants. but Yep. The Moonrise Brewing dude. Oh, yes, 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 um, yes. He's supposed to be coming on the show. He's Ooh. he's like the only guy, guy rocking around. his own. Tell him, about, tell him Cool Bean Space is open, cool too. Beans. Have him. I think his name's Ben. Ben, get that spot. Yeah, get that spot across the street from me. Wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> that they, I didn't. Even, they left like two, three months ago, if not more. I, oh, I think probably more than that. Wow. Yeah, so it's kind of that's got to be really detrimental to an owner too when your your building's oh, yeah. just sitting there. Oh yeah, they're just sitting there. He, Something's know, Ted's better than nothing. Unfortunately, got a couple empty spots, so hopefully those will get rented soon and the right people move in and stay. Well, I like I said, I told you today we'll keep it super yeah. on point. Yeah, um, I would I love to have it. you back on. Let's do this. 
after no matter what after ends up ele- happening yeah, with whatever the elections, happens with the election, I, wish I would you, love to come back out. I wish you great Thank luck. You. Yes, please vote. Also, Deborah I Phillips, think number four on the ballot. <laughs> uh, most importantly, well, to to the community too. Right. In in addition to that. I would love to keep. Um, I run the page called Flagler Beach Events. Okay. So I will Ooh. do my due diligence in keeping a an awareness of the city mark. I think it's a awesome. fantastic. I think it's an exciting. I'm like, I am. I'm like idea. super excited. Um, do you know Don from Ascent to Remember and Jackie? Yes. Yeah. My yeah, wife knows them way more because she's oil girl. Oh, oh thingy. Oh, I think that's all stuff hers too. Yeah. Yep. So they, um, Don's been instrumental in working on this business plan. So I hear wonderful things about them. They I used to be t- herbologists, herbo- I something say, like say that. that right? They're now, I yeah, I don't know. But something They're, cool. Uh, yes, yeah, like aroma. They practice what they preach. Something. That I know. They do. And I always was like, oh yeah, you just go buy your soap at the grocery store. Right. And mm-hmm. I will tell you, mm-hmm. go there, to go to Center Remember, their stuff is amazing. Mm-hmm. And really, very knowledgeable. Really it's very knowledgeable, not that expensive, and it's good stuff. If you want to smell nice. And it's great that, once again, I think it's wonderful to hear from a newly acquired resident, newly acquired business owner, that you're feeling the love to that capacity. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, the business owners, I have no complaints. Everybody really has been good. terrific. And you're my new buddy yes and you're always welcome north side uh, of course. and i <laughs> <laughs> thank you and you're we'll always put, welcome south we'll put side. you on the we'll put you on the list um <laughs> now but that i know where you're at so <laughs> this is it um but yeah i'm guilty i'm like turtle shack i know dude I know. i'm fine. right there but then if i bike breaks you've been to breaks breakaways oh yeah, oh, yeah. great I, venue i think i've hit them all i just went to java joint for the first time over yep. the weekend that was good too great so. breakfast joint yeah i think i've hit all the restaurants i'm a foodie yeah so. you've probably been to most, most of, them. of them well the george it's net by george net now. by george it used to be the anchor correct somewhere else and then he got that spot which is yeah. like amazing yeah, spot, oh yeah I think. You just look at the ocean but that's great you've, you've got your little that's kind rhythm. of my fish place so. um and you already but know this love too flagler fish oh my gosh it's oh fish like coals on another yeah that's on another level people come from all over to go there which is and cool. i think you're super blessed to be right there because yeah, when they get location. that waiting line and they you what are oh by the way what are your come hours over. and stuff oh we're open um every day of the week okay so monday through saturday 10 to 5 first friday we always stay up until 9 30 we always have wine okay so please free wine so come on in and Sunday, we're open from 12 to 4, 12 to 5, depending on the traffic awesome. and the weather. Now, are you there? I'm most actually, actually time I've or? been really blessed. My husband, Greg, it really wasn't his thing to have the pink turtle gift shop. So right. he's kind of our janitor <laughs> and our cleaner. So I've got Hank, which is a woman, okay. and Jan. Okay. They work, they work at the shop from 10 until 2 every day. And then I work from two until close. Good and, to but know. I'm here all day Saturday. I'm there all day Saturday. Okay. They don't work on Saturday. And then Hank's there on Sundays. So if someone did want to come give you a high five or a hug and talk about right. the art come, come or talk during about the week. your right. campaign. Come, come after two during okay. the week. And then I'm there all day Saturday from 10 to 5. Rock or call on. the store. We can You can make an appointment with me as well. Like if, okay. if I don't pick up, just leave a message and I'll call Because you're back. obviously here. You're just not. Yeah, I live. Here. Like I said, I've met people. Right. They're like, I'm in the area and I'll just zoom down right. if I'm not home. So. You got to go. Or if I'm not. Um, if I'm not at the shop, are you golf carting yet? Oh yeah, you got, got one bikes. Scene. We got. Golf I haven't golf carting. I'm, I'm, I'm. It's fun. I don't have the. I have the carport, so it's I know, like psh, immediately. I know. The next day I wake up, it's rusty. Yeah, I know. I know. We put ours in the garage. You got the golf cart. Yeah, you're you're golf. already a Flagler resident. Boom. <laughs> in my bike. That's right. But I use probably my car the most. Yeah, which is kind of well, like today, you had a yeah drive. Yeah, it was kind of far. Get here quick. <laughs> well, listen, Deborah, thank you so much for coming. Thanks, Chen. Oh, this is awesome. No, I'm you're. I'm just I'm glad you came. Like I said, you're Me one too. of the first few that I'm just don't know you. Come on, and yeah. you came. So, like I said, we'll keep. Well, I'm going to post yeah. everything on the online about okay. who you know your links and who you are already Perfect. tagged it here. But as far as the city market is probably the most exciting thing that I had no idea. It about. is. It is. It's super excited. You... So I'm, we're hoping to get that up and running. You know, sooner rather than later. Awesome. And I wish you much luck on the campaign. Thank thank you. I appreciate it. High five. Thanks, everyone. Boom, boom. Now, if you, the other ones, then oh, by all means, so you're. Cool.